Hi everyone, welcome to a new video of Gemstones. My name is Kiran Krishna. I am a professional gemologist. In this session, we are going to discuss about diamonds. Diamonds are the king among gemstones. It deserves that name because of its salient features. It is always the passion of humanity. It is the most harder and lustrous gemstone ever found. Diamonds used in jewelry as well as in the industrial field because of its highest hardness. It will form deep under the earth's surface in the 150 to 250 kilometer depth in the mantle region. For the diamond formation, extreme temperature pressure condition needed. That is around 1200 degrees Celsius temperature and 725,000 pounds pressure per square inch. Diamonds formed in the mantle region when carbon containing fluids or melts dissolves some minerals and replaces it with any diamonds. Diamond is the purest form of carbon. Pure diamonds are always colorless. When it present with some impurity elements like nitrogen and boron, it will show some colors. Light yellow color is due to the presence of nitrogen. Light brown colors are due to the structural defects. And rarely diamonds are seen in multi-spectral colors like pink, blue, green, orange, purple, black, etc. These are due to the presence of certain impurity elements or by the radioactivity. This diamond forms deep under the earth surface will reach to the earth surface by volcanic eruptions. It is entrapped in the mother rock that is igneous in nature like kimberlite, lambroid, etc. As I said, diamond is the purest form of carbon. Diamonds formed by carbons. Each carbon atom connected to the adjacent four carbon atoms by covalent bonding and exists in the tetrahedral manner. By this structure, it will crystallize in the cubic crystallographic system. And rough diamonds sometimes show some crystal structures like octahedral shapes, dodecahedral shapes, and cubic shapes. Diamonds are naturally occurring in many countries. It is distributed in many continents. The major diamond mining countries are Botswana, Congo, South Africa, Russia, America, Australia, Canada, India, etc. Nowadays, by the advancement of science and technology, diamonds are synthesized synthetically in laboratory. The main processes behind the production of synthetic diamonds are CVD or chemical vapor deposition process and HPHT, high pressure, high temperature process. These are the most important common processes for the production of synthetic diamonds. Rather than these synthetic diamonds, there are imitation stones like CZ, as we said, cubic zirconia or American diamond. This is the main imitation of natural diamonds that is not a natural gemstone. It is the imitation stone of diamonds. And there is one more stone called mosonite. It is also an imitation stone of diamonds. And sometimes natural simulants like zircon, white sapphire, and these colorless stones may confuse with natural diamonds by its cutting and shining. But natural diamonds are highly less than these 
simulants and imitation stones. Diamond luster is known as adamantite. It is the highest degree of luster ever found in the gemstone.